my unboxing video. Today I will be adding to my camera arsenal. And hopefully I'll be able to divide this video into two sections where the first part is being filmed on my old camera which is a Canon D20 adventure camera which is designed for uh, waterproof and shockproof adventuring but not really for professional kinds of videos and photographs. I decided it was about high time that I got a camera that would be suitable for making YouTube videos and taking family vacation photos and so after a lot of research into different Canon uh, camera models, preferably Canon, I, I happen to be a Canon person who's been with Canon for a long time, there's probably pros and cons to that, but either which way, I ended up choosing a Canon, uh, what is that thing? What's this thing called? Yeah, I gotta start remembering what the name is. T7i, which is also known as a D600. I have no idea why there's two, two different model numbers, but it's the same camera. So, either which way. I also have this ancient Canon camera that is a PowerShot A1100IS, which is old as the hills, but still works. I'm going to have to use this real quick. Uh, record. I haven't used this in forever. Wait. There we go. Oh god, it's noisy too. Let's see, okay. This is the D20. This is what I've been taking videos with. Hi! Hi. Hi. Okay. We got that out of the way. Now then. The second part of the video should be recorded on the T7i. So, I'm going to go ahead and open that first. Uh, that would be the package from B&H Video out of New York. Um, not sponsored, but they seem to be the best source for everything camera related. Uh, this long box is the tripod, so I'm going to open that second so that I can get the camera out and the microphone. I don't have a microphone, because the, uh, so the audio on this part probably sounds like shit. And then I'll get the tripod ready so that I don't have to have my cameras propped up on furniture anymore. This last box is from Amazon. It is full of accessories and goodies from, from let's see, there's a cleaning kit and a windscreen and a bag. I don't remember what else was in there. It's been maybe a week or so since I ordered all the items and I was waiting for them to all arrive before I tried to do this together at the same time. Um, so yeah, I saw that there were packages available on Amazon where you could buy the T7i camera with all these accessories. The problem I had with that is, number one, I don't know the seller on Amazon. There are so many kind of scary moments on Amazon when a seller might give you a piece of crap and then there's nothing Amazon can do to help you out with warranties or getting your money back, whatever. An expensive piece of equipment like a camera, mm, I'd rather go with a reliable company so that I can go, hey, Canon, there's a problem with my camera. And they say, oh yeah, where'd you buy it from? <laughs> B&H Video, yeah. They're like, oh, we know them. Okay, so anyway, I decided to buy the camera from B&H Video and uh, I think it's actually B&H photo video. I'm not sure how to say their name because I've seen a few different reiterations. Um, but the tripod and all the accessories came from Amazon and they were not in a bundle. So, because try as I might, I looked around, couldn't find any bundles without the camera. I wanted, you know, to buy the camera from a reputable seller and buy all the accessories from whoever had them the cheapest or best quality for the best price. But, I couldn't do that, so essentially what I ended up doing was putting together my own bundle by 
picking and choosing individual items from all over Amazon. The benefit of this is that I'm not ending up with any little bits and pieces that I don't even want. Like, I think some of the bundles had, like, little bitty memory cards that could hardly hold five minutes worth of video, you know? Who's going to use that? I, I don't know. Anyway, so, I, I kind of got the best of all the worlds after I said and done, did all the time and research on this, got a good camera from a reputable seller, got accessories and tripod and stuff from cheap sellers. So. Alright, that's an awful lot of intro, but let's go ahead and get into this. Let me check real quick, make sure this is still recording, because this camera does not have a flip out screen like the new one's going to. As you can see, I'm actually using a mirror just to keep track of the video. I can't wait to use the new flip out screen. Okay, still recording. Not sure how much battery life I have on that thing either. I changed the battery, but yeah, see how that goes. Okay, camera first. Let's get into this. Save the accessories for last. That's the tripod. The actual camera. <laughs> oh, I've been dying to see this thing. I also bought an extended warranty. Important on expensive equipment that you might drop somewhere. Yeah. Oh yay, lots of balloons. Packaging! Whee! Okay, too much packaging. Whee! Okay. This is a SanDisk memory card that's probably too small. If I remember correctly. The only thing, that's another thing, the only thing I didn't buy is memory cards because since I've been working with cameras and I have a GoPro, that's another camera I have, uh, I've been working with cameras for a long time, I have bukus of SD memory cards in different sizes, so I should be able to just use what I already have. Okay, yeah, this one's a 16 gigabyte. The only difference here is that this is a nice high-speed one. Uh, 4K UHA. It's ten, class 10. It's got that little 10 in the most of the way circle thing. Anyway, good card, but kind of small for my purposes. I don't know if I'll need the knife again. Let's see. I think oh, this is the camera itself. Dual Pixel Autofocus Canon Dare to Dream Video Creator Kit Flip Screen Sound Quality Yeah, okay, so I bought the Video Creators packages, be package because I also don't have a good microphone, like, at all. So, I figure that uh, Rode, what is it, Rode Go Mic, I think they call it, seems to be a good starter option. It's going to sit right on top of the microphone, although I think I can mount it on other things. But it's about time I had a good microphone. Hopefully you'll see the difference when I switch over from filming on this to filming on the new camera with the new microphone, if I can get all that figured out. Alright, this thing's... Uh, the only thing left in here is the case that came from the annex video. I'll look at that in a minute. To the camera. How does one exhume the body? No one drop anything. Okay. So far, so good. camera and here is the video mic video mic go rebel brand canon rebel t7i eos let me see this real quick i know I, i'm anxious to get to the camera but there seems to be a memory card in with this 
for this microphone. I'm confused. Either I accidentally got a free one, or I didn't read in the, the description that this is supposed to come with one. I don't know what's going on. That's a surprise. Did I cut? Open sesame. I don't want to tear you. There we go. Okay. You got it. You just stay there. Yeah, I'm not sure that was supposed to be in there. So I'm just... I know it was supposed to come with a 16 gigabyte because I thought to myself, that, that ain't big enough to do diddly with, but here's another sand disk. It's not the extreme, but it's the ultra, and it's 32 gig gigabytes. Now I have two more memory cards. Full HD video. Huh. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. Don't know why that was in there. Maybe that's part of the video creators' kits, because they, they know you're going to need a bigger card. Um, yeah, so, uh, see if you can get a good shot of that. Let's see, there's the microphone. Now I have to figure out this whole hot shoe thing on how it mounts to the top of the camera. I've never seen that before. Had to deal with that before. Alright, let's get to the actual camera. Oh baby, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I know that one too stay over there. Okay, right on top. Warranty card, but I was gonna do that online. Okay. Big old thick instruction manual in English, French, and Spanish. Holy cow. Even just being in three languages. Each section is so big. That's what she said. Where is the English end? I kind of see an example here. I mean, obviously it would be about a third of the book, but that is just the English section. This thing has a lot packed in a small package. Okay. Uh, register now! USA only! Canada only! Okay. Bossy. Who said I wanted to register now? Okay, what we got? What we got? Uh, let's see if I can get a down shot. Put the inside of the box. Looks like, okay, that's the camera body. That's the, uh, basic lens it comes with, which is, uh, 18 to 55 millimeter. Okay, and that's the battery. And that's the charger. I think there's the only four parts in there. Okay. okay. Just let me get a good shot before I pull all this stuff out. this would actually feel. A lot of people are like, it's one of the lightest as far as DSLRs. And I'm like, well, I've never held one. And then you read about, you know, pounds and ounces, and you're like, well, I can't imagine that either. It's like four hamburgers, right? Four quarter pounders. Wow. Okay, yeah. This whole thing is like plastic, but somehow that still feels really durable. Awesome. Yeah, I like the weight. I wonder what it's going to feel like with the lens on, but seriously, I could, I could point this around all day and take pictures without getting too tired. Nice. Okay. That opens. I've been waiting. Ooh. Yeah, the parts you don't want to get dirty. <laughs> okay, put that back on. Panic, panic, panic. Without screen. Ooh. Oh, now I see how that swivels. Okay, I see the flip mechanism and the swivel thing. Huh. Nobody seemed to have really good pictures of that online. I don't know if you can see that. 
I'm blocking the light probably. Yo, brighter. So swivel out part and then there's a, a little swivel inside that. It's just, eh, I don't think you can actually see it. Anyway, cool beans, all right. Well, yeah, that thing's falling over things now. Put that right back in real quick. Take a look at the rest of this stuff and then try to get it set up. Awesome, okay. Camera body, charger, battery. Hopefully, the battery has a little bit charged to it so I can use it right off that. Aha! There is another thing in here. I was wondering about that. Some of the descriptions online did not mention that it does come with a basic neck strap for the camera. I was wondering where everybody gets those stra straps that say Canon on them. I guess all the cameras probably have one thrown in the box. Wouldn't cost that much. To do that. Yay! That helps make you look extra professional. <laughs> Canon! It also advertises what you've got actually hanging from your neck. Okay. Strap. This is the lens. This is the part I have to be the most careful about. Mm handle these things with kid gloves. EFS, I think that might mean small. I've heard, i read about the EF and the EFS. I don't know, don't know exactly what the difference is, but I do know they can be adapted to each other. 18 to 55 millimeters. Ooh, that is so smooth. Oh, I'm getting more excited. I can't wait to use this. That's the part that attaches to the camera. That's the front. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so excited. Okay. I'm gonna assemble this thing. Don't want to damage anything. Alright, so that's the camera. The lens and stuff. This is the microphone. Only missing piece left is the tripod. Wait a second. There's one more thing from BNH video, photo video. Some kind of basic camera bag, which honestly to me looked a little bit insufficient, so I also bought a bigger one from Amazon. We'll compare those in a little while. Okay. Yeah, this more or less looks like a lunchbox. Tamarack Tradewind 5.1. This seems to be the freebie that me and H wanted to give away with pretty much every camera for free. Alright, pretty much like a lunchbox, but with Velcro thingies in here that you can reposition. Really basic bag. I will compare that more closely with the uh, one I got from Amazon later. Let's get to the tripod. I wonder which one is that. Okay, stickers. That way, this might be up. Oh, lordy. I hope that's still recording. Okay. It does not show that the battery's flashing yet, so I guess I'm good. Can't wait for you to hear the, the audio difference, assuming I can get the mic figure, figured out. I know the D20 does not do audio very well. Nice carry pack because this is okay. It seems like the battery did die. Let me finish this up real quick. Only have one thing left to do anyway. Take a look at this tripod real quick. Nice sturdy material. Yes. Good carrying case. Good handle. Be able to position. Oh, it says Amazon Basics right on the leg. Great. Everybody's gonna know how cheap I am. Fun. Okay. It's got a whole bunch of ways to rotate, swivel the head and stuff. A lot of adjustments here I'm gonna have to figure out camera attachment right on the top that I'm familiar with, but I don't know what that's 
spring-loaded button is for. Okay. I'd still like to know why there's a hook there. What the heck? I saw that in some of the pictures, but I don't know. Maybe you hang that from your ear. Okay, I remember yeah, latch levels, levers. So you can extend the legs and, uh, yeah, of course, crank this to raise the head. Awesome sauce. That way. Alrighty then. There's a bubble level here. I wonder how accurate that is. Not that I care too much about being level, perfectly level. Alright, that is it for now. I have pulled out the camera, all the camera stuff, the microphone, batteries, hopefully they're charged, and the tripod. So hopefully the next video you see after I assemble this and figure it out will be on the new camera and then I can take video of opening the accessories. We'll be able to hopefully compare the audio and video in the second part of the video. Stay tuned! On with my instincts. Sound test. Oh, autofocus works. Hi, hi. Oh, there it is. Hi. Okay. Let's try. Hope the battery lasts at all. on the new Canon T7i and the Rode microphone that's mounted on top. Hopefully it looks and sounds better. It was uh, quite interesting trying to figure out how to set up the tripod and the camera and all the things. Not only that, the battery that came with the camera had almost zero charge. So took a little bit longer than expected to prepare this section because I had to plug in the charger and the battery and wait a while. It's finally charged. I don't think it's fully charged, but we'll see if we can get this video completed before it runs out. Anyway, let me get on this camera, take a shot of the setup. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There. So, set up the tripod as tall as it will go with the legs. Didn't find it necessary to crank up the top. And there's the microphone. And I think it's pretty much just plug and play because it didn't look like I had to change anything in the camera settings. Uh, I have the I, I have I have the screen, yes, flipped around to the front. And uh, there are a ridiculous number of buttons on this thing. That's all I'll say. I had a hard time even figuring out which button started the recording of the video. <laughs> okay. This one's flashing low battery again, so I can put it away now. I just wanted you to see the setup now. Heck of a lot better than propping camera up on some furniture with a mirror behind it. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Keep flashing battery. Alright. Now let's get to the actual accessories. Mm, I have a little surprise. It was a surprise for me as well. While I was waiting for the battery to charge, 
a package arrived. My local UPS man brought the final piece I was waiting on. I did not think this was going to arrive today, but it did. Um, it was the last thing I was waiting on, and I had decided to go ahead and make this video regardless of whether it showed up or not. Anyway, this is supposed to be two spare batteries and a third-party charger. So, speaking of charging batteries, I'll get the original one all charged up sometime later, and got to work on charging these two. That way I'll always have three batteries. That's the plan anyway. These batteries that are a different, they're not Canon brand. Um, they're actually supposed to have more kilowatt hours than the original battery that came with the camera. So, I'm just hoping that means they'll last, last even longer. That's what it's, wow. Wow, Amazon. Really? This big box for this little box. All by its little lonesome. That's... Hmm, so annoying. Okay. Wonder if they had to ship it from the other side of the country or something. Okay, let's see. Batteries. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Cable, pretty standards. What size USB? Okay, that's USB C. I've got lots of those cables. Power Extra brand, and it will charge both batteries at the same time. Oh, it's even got a screen protector. They got fancy with this. Hold on, let me plug these together and show you what that's supposed to look like. Yeah, see this says 1350 milliamp hour. I don't remember what the uh, Canon brand one is, but it's a whole heck of a lot less than that. Alright. So these go like those Contacts. Correct direction. Power extra. Okay. Let's see if you can see. Focus. Focus on this. Yo. Yes. There you go. See the two batteries and where's the plug hole? Oh, it has a cable built in. Wait a second. There's a cable on the back. There's a cable built in and a, a separate plug. What the heck, guys? Why does it need two? Huh. Okay, I'm not sure about that, but it has two options apparently. Okay, so, battery charger, extra batteries, good goody gumdrops. Now, let's get to all the rest of the accessories, yay! I can't even remember all the things. I've been so busy lately and it's been a while like I said since I ordered them. Shipping's kind of slow these days. More baggies. Okie dokie. First up, Altura Photo. What? Photo Professional Natural Cleaning Solution. Okay, this is the cleaning kit. seems to blow air nicely. They're supposed to be... Okay, there's some cleaning cloths, brushes, fancy spray solution. I don't, I don't really... They had two options on the uh, item page. One of them was their original or classic. The only difference between the two sets was the original classic was some kind of, I don't even remember what it said, something about the formula, the original formula is in the spray bottle. And, and the one I got, the second option, says all natural, 100% safe camera lens and sensor cleaner, 
alcohol free, ammonia free, odor free, streak free. I don't know what's in the regular one, but it was important to me to get the natural one because I sometimes have a bad reaction to ammonia, and this one says ammonia free, so I figured I think it was like two dollars extra to get the natural one. Okay, so cleaning tool. Try to figure out how to keep the camera clean properly. Alright, so many goodies. What is this? Okay. This is a chest strap. Okay. The only thing I was unsure about this thing is how it hangs as far as not being too loose. It comes down over your shoulders, sure, but there's nothing in front of you keeping the straps together except for the camera itself. So, I didn't know if if the camera's hanging down loose, if the shoulder part's gonna, you know, come loose across the back of the shoulders or something. I do like that this has, right near the front straps, there's two little Velcro pockets for putting memory cards and batteries in. When I'm gonna go out shooting pictures of scenery and stuff, I'm not gonna be wanting to lug a whole bunch of big bags. Alright. So powder part goes on the shoulders. And this connects to the camera. See, there are some some adjustments, and this is probably not as small as it needs to be for me. But I suppose if there's a camera pulling forward down-ish, then I guess gravity does the work. I don't, I kind of wish there was a strap here somewhere, but I think they'd have a problem trying to design it for both men and women. This actually, can, when, I didn't find it this way, but on Amazon, I, when I was looking at this particular product, I noticed that it was like listed as number one seller for uh, wim, women's, women's camera chest strap or something like that. So I'm pretty sure because there's no, no strap in the front, a lot of well-endowed women are going with this so that things are not in the way. I went with the geometric print design on this, which is quite colorful. I like colorful things and I like geometric print and they happen to put the two together. Okay, so that's that. I don't need all packaging in one place. This is similar. It's from the same company. By the way, what company is that? Flex Armor? Is that? No. US, USA Gear. They even say three year warranty on both of these. Alright, so this is a camera form fitting slim case for the camera itself. And it actually has gaps for the straps that the camera is going to hang from. So, oh, Velcro's all the way on the bottom. I like that, that makes it even more secure. And there's a belt strap. Oh, this has more features than I thought. There's even a zipper for little memory cards and stuff. Dang, okay, cool. Cardboard and stuff, 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 warranty stuff. Okay, cool. So, put this back on. These go together. I'll get this adjusted at some point. I don't have a something to try this out with. I wish. Just need something that's heavy. Actually, that might work right there. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can try this thing out. I am not. Okay. Now I've got a camera hanging there. And let's pretend that's a DLSR. Oh, that's awesome. 
awesome. Some people said they didn't like how low this hangs, but honestly, it doesn't look like it's going to be that low. I bet I could shorten all kinds of parts on this so that it was higher if I wanted it up near my belly. I mean, you got to have enough room so that you can actually swing the camera up in order to take pictures. I'm getting out of frame here. It's so nice to be able to look up and see a, see a, a real-time screen that shows me how the video's going. That's going to be the best part, I swear, the screen. I had considered hooking a, uh, mm, words, words are hard, separate screen. It's like just a monitor up to this camera. Now I made a knot, come on. Sorry D20, you don't get to hang out with the cool quick kids. That was your, that was your only chance. If I can get you unhooked. There we go. Alright. So these are awesome. Okay. Obviously, it's also the uh, rainbowy geometric print. Okay, so. Straps. Case. What's next? Oh, what's it? Okay. And also the warehouse deals inspected. Oh, well, that's right. This is this is the windsock thing for the microphone. I actually didn't buy it brand new because there was one in the Amazon warehouse that was like new. That was a lot cheaper. I think there was also a waiting time on the brand new one, and I didn't want to wait. I needed this all together at the same time for an upcoming photography expedition. Well, I wanted to put this on, but I think that should wait. Anyway, this is a windscreen. Some people call it a dead cat, but that seems to be slightly offensive. It's got a lot of soft fibers that somehow keep the wind from bothering the sound effect as much. When you're out in the wind taking video, um, yeah, you won't hear the wind as much, basically. I need more room for my stuff. Okay, wind sock. Got it. Pebble wireless remote shutter release. Yes, I got the better one. Uh, let me explain that for a second. They make remote controls. I say they. A whole bunch of different companies make cheap remote controls that will hook up pair with the Canon T71 T7i through Bluetooth but the problem with Bluetooth technology is that it'll only reach like what 30 something feet and that's that's in a good situation that's not very good for doing farther away group shots where you want to be in the picture with the group and all of a sudden your remote is not telling the camera to do the thing. Well, I found some models, better ones in my opinion, come with a doohickey that you attach to the top of the camera. <laughs> and get up close with this thing. This is the part you attach up close. Focus, focus. Yo. Focus. There you go. It's only got two buttons things on it, and that's the part that attaches on the top of the camera. The hot shoe thing. And then you walk, oops, you walk around holding the smaller remote. Also has just two buttons on it. Are you focusing? You're focusing. You're supposed to autofocus. I'm trying to give the autofocus a test run here. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, the whole premise here is that this works off of uh, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi-like um, signal, 2.4 uh, gigahertz, is it? Oh, probably saying that wrong. Megahertz, kilohertz. I don't know the hertz. 
Do, 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 do. Something, something dark side. Transmission distance, 80 meters plus. Open space without any interference. That's the awesome stuff. That's the payoff. And I'll tell you what, they make even better ones than this because this only has two buttons. This has a timer button and a shutter button, and that's it. The fancy models, they had buttons and even screens on the remote for adjusting, like, the focus of the camera and all kinds of stuff like that. Maybe someday later, if I get better with this camera, figure all the things out, I will spring for a fancy one. But right now, all I need is a button, say, take the picture, or start the video, or whatever. So, remote shutter release. Woohoo! So, next. Newer. Newer. Newer what? I don't remember what it was they made. Oh, oh, this is, this is the filters kit. Ooh, okay. Nice, crinkly, crunchy plastic. You. Okay. That's one of them cover things to go over the lens that's supposed to keep the daylight from messing up your picture. I am not, this is all new to me in case you can't tell, all the fancy photography stuff. I have Google on my side and I am learning without a teacher except for myself, so. Okay, I think that's just a lens cap cover. Because it looks just like the one that was on the, the Canon lens. So that's a lens cap cover. I don't need all these things in plastic. What the heck is that? Okay, that's a lens cap keeper. I will leave that in the bag. That's that's just a strap with a sticky so that you can, when you have a cap over your lens, it, if you have a strap going to the cover, if the cover falls off, the strap will keep you from losing the cover completely. All right, this is another hood. This one is bendy silicone. The only thing I was worried about is that it might be misshapen, but it doesn't look like it. This is like the flower petal one, but deeper and flexible. And it doesn't have the, uh, the high points and low points in it, so it's not flower shaped. But you can collapse it to different depths to be able to keep the light messing up the lens. So that's another another picture uh, hood, I guess hood is the right word. Okay, microfiber cleaning cloth. Oh, okay, these are the actual filters. I'm getting used to these words. A lens is the thing that actually focuses and a filter is something you put on a lens that makes fancy effects. All right, this purple one is supposed to fix how the colors look when you're in fluorescent lighting. These other two, they better be marked because I don't remember which one does what. There's supposed to be a UV one and one that helps reduce reflections. There's a clear looking one and a, and a tinted one, and there's no writing on them. I'm going to have to look that up again. Oh. They screw on the very front of the lens, and supposedly you can use more than one at a time. And I was thinking of using the UV one and the um, light reflection reducing one together. All right, I don't remember what these do. ND8. I have to look that up. I don't remember. I knew it when I was reading about it. ND2. Are these the magnifying ones? ND4. I can't tell. I have to look that up again. I ain't no expert. I'm just barely on the edge of novice and, and intermediate, depending on how you define that. What the? 
Why is this one in wax paper? What's it say? What's it say? Close up, plus four. This is the magnifier. I don't know what the NDs are. I'm going to have to read about that. Close up, plus four. I like these little carrying cases they're in. Can't find the writing. Don't want to completely unwrap everything. Close up, plus ten. Pretty sure I can take good... There's four. There's other magnifications in here. Pretty sure I can take some snazzy photographs of some flowers and bugs and other macro things. I think that was everything in here. So yeah, whole bunch of uh, filters, cleaning cloth, cap, cap strap, cap. Um, Flexible hood, flower shaped hood, nice little accessory kit, and pretty effective from what I was reading. Alright, this is a little thing. 9H tempered glass camera screen protector. Okay. What? Why is it in a hard case? They have to protect the protectors. Open. Oh. There's the original authentic seal. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What? They included little little surprise gifts in here, I think. There's a bunch of wipes. I don't know if they're wet wipes. Just says cleaning paper. Screen cleaning paper. Wet and dry. Okay. There's a few sets of wipes there. The actual screen protectors. There's three of them. So if I screw it up on the first try or even the second, I get another try. Dust absorber. Guide sticker. There better be instructions in here. One, you use the wipes. Two, dust absorber. Guide sticker, used to clear the okay. You use the stickers. And then three, you place it. You place it on the screen. That's all there is to it. Okay. There was a whole heck of a lot more steps and instructions to the, the screen cover for my watch had some kind of gel stuff that you had to let dry. I swear they added little accessories in here. I don't know how or where you would attach that, but there's actually a little round bubble level like was on the the um, tripod. And the ladybug on some sort of clip. I don't know what these go to. I do know what that is. That's just an SD card adapter to go from micro to full size. Okay, whatever. Works for me. Close. Okay, screen protector, check. Ah, this is what I need. Ah, oh, yeah. This will be the lifesaver, and you better believe I'm gonna read this cover to cover. Because I am a dummy. I'm hoping it'll actually teach me a little bit about photography itself. But this one is specifically a Canon EOS Rebel T7i for dummies. Yep. They actually had a book specific to this model of camera. I'm like, oh, heck yes. All right, I think this is the last thing in the box. It's the last thing I have. This should be the better case I got. I will compare it to the one I got from uh, B&H Photo Video. 
the box itself looks bigger. basics because all I need right now is cheap stuff I can upgrade later when I start getting stuff figured out and what I actually need all right first off here's a size comparison there you go it's like twice the volume uh, remember this one kind of looked like a a lunch box inside. You just un unzip the top and it's got placeable divider things on Velcro and it has a couple of stretchy side things and a zipper in the lid, little zipper pocket, another stretchy on the other side and two strap holders and that is pretty much it. This thing is so basic. All right, that's that case. Now this one, first off, flimsy little handle on this thing. Sturdy big double handle. Okay. We're recording again. I don't know why it stopped recording. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyway, I was talking about the sturdy handle on this. Yee. Double handle and it velcros together and it's all kinds of sturdy. Like, yeah. And it's got clips on the front that hold the lid shut. Wonder if there's also Velcro. What is that for? Uh, I think there's also a, a, a couple of straps for attaching it to backpacks and stuff. Okay, yeah. There's Velcro on top, so there's the clips and some Velcro to hold it shut. And zipper. Very little chance of this sucker popping open on its own. And I forgot, I bought the, uh, they had a few, they had a few choices and orange on the inside was one of the choices. So there's the, the strap to attach to the sides and that's what the inside looks like. Whole bunch of dividers with Velcro and stuff. Mainly, this is a whole heck of a lot bigger and sturdier and has like safety features to keep it from popping open compared to the one that came from B&H Video. Not knocking B&H Video, they like to have a basic starter bag to just give away for free with camera purchases. That's fine and to tell you the truth, that was optional. There was like, you know, do you want the camera or do you want the camera with a free, what did they call it, kit? Free, mm, free accessories kit, which was basically the bag and the, the small memory card. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. If nothing else, I'll put some, if anything doesn't fit in this bag, which will, that only time will tell. I'll have to try all the things, but I'm thinking it'll all fit in here. If something doesn't fit in here, I might put it in this bag. Heck, I might keep this around for toting some of my GoPro stuff. Either which way, it's not completely useless, it's just, not as awesome as this one, which kind of a shame to say is Amazon Basics and there's nothing really basic about it. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I didn't open the front. Oh yeah, there's zippers and, and, and little pockets and stuff in the front too. Cool. Okay. It'll be fun to get that packed and see if everything fits. 
That'd be nice. All right, that was the last item for me to unbox. It's completely unboxed. Um, there was I, I was reviewing one of the earlier videos. It seemed that I, I think these this is done in three or four clips now. It's not one continuous video. One of them had a little bit of audio problem and I don't think it's a problem with the microphone. I think that maybe I didn't have the plug all the way stuck into the camera or the microphone, either which way. I checked both ends and one of them was loose, the cord thing that plugs the microphone into the camera. I've secured that and hopefully the audio is fixed now. Uh, I guess that pretty much concludes the unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was one of my first YouTube videos. I've made a couple of others, but nothing close to this kind of quality. I hope that over time I get better and learn from my mistakes. And someday, someday I'm hoping I get on my YouTube channel and go way, way, way back in time to look at this exact video and see what the heck I was doing wrong back then. If that's what I'm doing right now, hi future self. I hope you've improved a lot. Everybody else who uh, views this video, thanks for stopping by. I hope you check in on me again. I hope I continue making videos that you like. And if there are any any suggestions you'd like to offer, helpful criticisms, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Your thoughts on what I can improve or what you liked about the video. I need ideas on how to do things better. Thank you very much and bye! This is what I need the remote for. <laughs>